led breakthrough development, engaged with the team at Sire di Kutala Mine, specifically working with the heads of departments under the leadership of general manager Fenbeni Mutelezi. The assignment that we were working on was one of getting the team to gel together. We've had some movements that have taken place ever since the team we had worked with uh, two years earlier had been pulled together. Um, three of the senior leaders who were part of the previous, previous group had since moved on. The general manager has since become the chief operating officer, Mr. Raymond Mahota. So out of that, it became necessary to reconstitute and also bring through a new nuance and new fill about what the leadership of a company utility would be with this crew. Very first evening, we wanted to be able to establish just how members of the team could be able to work with fragility and working with uh, tools that were very, very, um, not, not, not as strong, but also strong, depending on how they actually pull together. So, you know, working with the simple things like just spaghetti and eggs, uh, in and of itself, gets people to start thinking, what can I really create with spaghetti? <laughs> One screw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. No, no, park. Right, you got it. Let's go. It's <laughs> Too much on your side or too much on my side. So right now it's too much on your side. Come come this way again. Right, whoa, whoa. Wow. Right there, that's where you hold it. Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 <laughs> what happened? For, for each and every journey, there's, there's a glitch to it, but it doesn't mean that that is the end of the journey. The main thing is you must wake up. You right. continue. You guys, like, you come, and continue. Come, come, come. Well, wow. <laughs> what was the secret? What was the secret? No, teamwork. I was looking at her when you, you can feel the weight if it's going to the other side and then you try to level. Yeah, and you then you move. Move together. Yeah. yeah. But you know, never at some point. At the beginning, but as it goes and then you become comfortable because you already now master it. At the beginning, we're not sure who it's gonna fall. But yeah. immediately now you understand, okay, try to level, slow down, try to level, slow down, so yeah. Yeah, and practice makes perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have to tell the other group what, what to do, tell them. Don't rush it. Oh, they only have one. Don't rush it. Is it the height? <laughs> no, but you're supposed to, your hand was supposed to come to it. <laughs> you need to, they, they should be telepathy. Right. Okay. You know, you need to talk to each other by your, your body language. So what we went about to do then was to be able to conduct a couple of interviews prior to the workshop itself. So to get a sense of what the people who make up the HOD7 team really are like. Well, you could consider it a group first and then turn it into a team. So our engagement really was about pulling together the ideas that had flown through during the interviews into something that gels the seven into eighty. Aim for the can. No, you know, no, I don't know what. Not pull first there. Oh, shit! 
The most important thing, one, is to inculcate the, the level of trust, the level of communication. They have to be at the same level, even in thinking. Because the more you think you know better, or the more you think you can do it, the, hard, the harder the game, the, game, the game is. That's where the whole, the whole uh, the point is. Once you level yourself, to accept that we are then you'll be okay yes. you can easily do it until you try several times and then you fail yes. then you realize not that easy. <laughs> so let's take that and say so what are the lessons for us for your work i think for me it's more on um collaboration mm -hmm. because um had you ask um if that team to come help us with the cans we could have had 10 cans here mm -hmm. In a shorter space of time mm. compared to you know what we did, could so, I finish here? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, absolutely. So for me, two things: and we need to appreciate each other's strength mm. and be able to use that individual or that particular mm -hmm. task. For me, when you were explaining in there, I was like, this thing is very impossible. It can. <laughs> When I saw the sticks, it was even worse when I looked at them. Yeah. But then for the fact that we finished the game, then I'm like, then it is actually possible. Mm -hmm. But also be able to use the spaghetti to move things around, uh, connecting two leaders at the same time. That in itself called for these specific ways of communicating and communication without speaking. Because if you speak, you've got to open your mouth and therefore the spaghetti comes off your mouth. So that in itself was something that was introducing discipline and the preparedness to be able to get things done without necessarily have to gestulate as it were. We worked out as events went ahead and picked up oh, yeah. and was able to, to draw you to the work mm. coming on this side. Now you know here is someone who's confident about this. Yeah. We build on that confidence yes. to grow others' confidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. that's, that's the thing we needed to be able to work on as a team. Mm -hmm. Draw from the confidence of the other mm -hmm. so that competence feeds on our character as a team. Okay? Notice the, the exercise that you were doing, which has four elements. Mm -hmm. We had something inter about integrity. Yeah. In the, the one activity was moving things around. The other was to actually get to be able to move one, one item, an egg, and, and utilizing the body parts to get the, get the movement around. And that, of course, with the understanding that when the egg falls, it will spill onto your body. And there is a theme inside the organization, which is about do not drop the ball. And this time around, it was do not drop the egg because if you drop the egg, the smell remains with you regardless of what has happened. Oh no, it's gonna Take fall! It. <laughs> <laughs> Take it! Take it! It's gonna fall! <laughs> <laughs> I trust <laughs> <it. laughs> Right, okay, you have so to make it work. Yeah. You have to okay. make it work. Yeah, One way or the other. Don't leave too soon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going at it again. Okay. Let's go for it. I, I have a good life. Let's go for it. <laughs> Let's go for it. <laughs> oh, is it there? Make sure that her neck and her chin are hooked onto the egg to hold it in place. Yeah. Very important. That's Very important when it comes to us working. Yeah. Right? Very important when it comes to us working. Right. In front page, was. Sure. Right. So now you are transferring to him. You are transferring to him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's try again. Right, guys, you've got to be able to elongate your neck and accommodate it. Right, there you go. There you go. There you go. What is it? <laughs> Almost. No, yeah, no, well done. No, 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 no,
It's not position, it's posture. Posture. Okay. How do you come across? How do you show up? Yeah. That's important. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when we're looking into which and you you you've got it right about the positioning that you have yeah. tells a story about how you're going to receive and be received. Yeah? yeah? Crucial to look into that. Mm -hmm. Okay, what more? For me it was the Pleasure of breaking. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. So you don't want that egg to fall yes. <laughs> Right. But, but yeah. do you feel more pressure because Chinduka doesn't trust you? <laughs> no, no, not really. Mm. But for the fact that the egg will break in yeah. me, I didn't want that. And you only have one. Because it's like you are, you are, you are sort of um, disappointing the team, something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't want that. Well, it's fine. Yeah. Right. Support it. Yeah, let's have the team that was working on this together. Let's take a pick. People need to know what is this advancement all about. If we're gonna do it and we are the only ones who know what's going on, we will find people fighting against us when we think they should be working with us. Yeah? You've highlighted some most important thing, communicate, communicate, communicate. Mm -hmm. Anytime in the space of change, you know, Kota came up with about all eight steps that are involved in terms of change. The third and most important one is about communication. Mm -hmm. Communicate, communicate, communicate. It says we make change, but we under communicate seven times. Mm -hmm. And out of the lexicon, so that when going back to, to the mind, the conversation is going to be around ensuring that we actually retain that which is fragile, a language of trust, but also some that which in itself is the beginning point of relationship building. And that's really what was behind the activities on our first evening uh, together with the participants. My name is Ella Masilela. I'm the Human Resource Manager for Kutala. I'm responsible for the Human Resource Department, the Training and Development, the Community, as well as the Health of the Employee in terms of looking after the clinic. We are about to close our financial year, 24, and in terms of the plan, you know, at management level now, we need to rebase and check where you've been, how we're closing your year and what's going to be your next priority in order to stress yourself. So we are here as a team to look back in terms of our performance and coming back with a new strategy to deliver what we need to serve as as, well as part of our customer. So what spoke to you the most while you are here? For me, the collaboration. The collaboration because we've got newly uh, three HODs who just joined the team. They are feeding you. So it was important for us to make sure that we align, we started the right base with them. They understand how we operate, what each and everyone's key role to make sure that we support each other and deliver the end product. This has been an exciting time. Oh yes, oh yes, I must say, you know, sometimes you think certain things, they are not important, but maybe they impact the other person. So it's, it's a good session for us because now we are aligned so that when you go back to the operation, we are able to support each other and hold account, each other accountable. Figures, that's one of the movies that was put together, highlighting some of the work that was done behind the scenes and never got to be in, um, in, in the limelight. Okay. You actually have more of the calculations to the moon and back, we're done by hand. Yeah. Leo is going. 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 So here we, we're trying to build our future Kotala. We're saying in four years time, this is what we want to implement in Kotala. You will see we want a healthy workforce. We want high productivity. Actually, our aspiration is consistent with delivering four millionaires every year. We want to see ESCOM running. Uh, when ESCOM is running, we want to end load shedding. When load shedding is uh, normal, 
we want to see a better South Africa. South Africa needs to grow. And then when South Africa is growing, my team, we're going to Zanzibar. This is where we'll be like, okay, we've done our part. We've got a new team that will be taking over in four years' time. By then, we are saying, Mike, can, can you give us a new challenge? That is us. Oh, okay, okay. But, but, okay, with the community, they are happy. Yeah. So, so what about our stakeholders, the MRE, those guys? Yes, yeah, we're yeah, they're, 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 they're We're looking into a situation where, as adults, there is a creative side inside of us and I don't often allow that to show off when it's work time. So what we've chosen to do in this particular instance is to get the leadership of Kutale, awakening the child in them and be very creative once more and think through what the organization is going to be like in four years time. And as they do so, it's, it's in more relaxed kind of mode there's no tackles involved and everybody is engaging because it is about them creating a legacy they would like to be known for. And as we go along, we're also beginning to realize that they're no longer talking only about themselves as the leadership, but they're talking about the organization, the community around, the country at large. And that is what we're looking to be able to create in this time together. It is inside the door. 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 Let them come. We are waiting. Benny Montage. It's underground. It's underground. Yeah. Well. Okay. What are your staff saying? They are happy, you they see, are happy. they are healthy, healthy. everything is in no order. No relationship problems. Successors, mm -hmm. because everybody is happy, they, even those people who have already identified them, they are following us mm -hmm. to take Succession over. Plan. Yeah, mm -hmm. but the, yes. the success of, of Kutala is the success of ESCOM, but then also the success of South Africa at large. Ideas came up, we were very creative, mm -hmm. and um, I think working as a team, this one will think of this, and this one will think of that, and that's why we need each other, right. so that we don't forget about all the important aspects. Great, great stuff. Thank you for telling me this team. Mm -hmm. The next two years, mm -hmm. that was feeling that was going through to say, wow, yeah. actually we can do some of the things mm -hmm. from this year. Mm -hmm. yeah, very, very exciting for me. Yeah. For me, as I started looking at it, and I'm thinking, you know, we are writing it down. But looking at the plan, it is actually possible mm -hmm. that we can get there. Mm -hmm. it, is, it, it is easy to actually get those four million units. Mm -hmm. We can get the six units mm -hmm. actually right up mm -hmm. for, for 365 days. Yeah. So it is not something that it is not achievable, we are just thinking about it. Mm -hmm. It's something that is very much achievable and it can even happen before we finish four years. For me, I think it was a moment of reflection, mm -hmm. um, forcing and, and, and thinking about the future and thinking about the goals. Mm -hmm. And I think if we have to do that even more often, mm -hmm. we can achieve greater things mm -hmm. because it gives us a point of reflection mm -hmm. and then forward looking. Mm -hmm. And not only as an individual, but forward looking as a team. As a team. So maybe together we can achieve more. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. We've done the theory yesterday. We're going to finalize it today. Outside, it was the practicality of what we were saying. Mm. Automatically, when we went there, yeah. we put everything that we talked about. <laughs> so it was a test of putting yeah. it into practice. Now we just need to put it on yes. five. Yeah. 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 My name is Johan Westhuizen. I'm an engineering manager for Underground at Kutala Colony. I think the start was very interesting, uh, starting with a team exercise, just focusing on having a solid foundation. I really focused the mind around how should we actually be co-mingling as a team, bonding together. Um, and then, yes, I mean, yesterday it was about a lot more around the tools that we need to use for strategy. And then uh, today, we obviously put our plan together, which was good. I, I must say, I liked the practical exercise. It demonstrated good, good leadership, uh, not good leadership, good teamwork from the team, but also perseverance, because there was a lot of competitive competition in the team. We wanted all to succeed at the end of the, end of the day. But yeah, overall, I think well structured, it got together. So the amazing thing that happens, of course, on Thursday the 14th is that there is a celebration that comes through because news come that uh, Itebele it, it to section has actually clocked a million tons of coal 
and injury free. And that's a very crucial thing because it's not just the question of having been able to haul out a million tons of coal, but it was done in a safe manner, which is consistent with what Serity is working towards in terms of zero harm. Um, and we wanted to be able to celebrate that as the HOD7 team together with those who were part of the Terminator section. And of course, one of the caveats around this was that the person who was leading that section had since been promoted into becoming the mine manager. So he's part of the HOG7 team for just two weeks and already there's a celebration coming through. That was a glory! like the way we're doing the Kutala. So tomorrow we've got plans. Tomorrow we have a date. I'm saying 8 o'clock we will meet each other at the head office. So from 8 o'clock up until uh, 12 uh, p.m. we will be together and then we can celebrate properly. So unfortunately we can't be there. We can't be with you because of our strat session. Team Sebola Kuru. This is the standard that we are setting for the whole business. This is the way we should continue working as long as we are at Kutala. I'm so proud to be part of this winning team. Tim, thank you so much. I know tomorrow we'll talk, but I've got the CEO as well. You see, we can move mountains. <laughs> CEO is here as well, and the celebration. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm promoting him. So he's here to also say, uh, share some few words with, with, with us. Only one second. Thank you. Viva! Can you say viva? Viva! Oh my God, I hope we can hear it. Yes. Yeah, this thing is... Party goes in party! Ah, my daughter, hi. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, big party. Thank you for doing it. Uh, for the second time in a row, when we talk about consistency, we're talking about this one. So, thank you so much, congratulations, and uh, yeah, wishing you well, and yeah, well done. Congratulations, team. Thank you, team. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Oma Nkole. So, I'm a surface engineering manager. I take care of all the infrastructure, like on surface. Yeah. The teamwork for me. Um, and the way we went through each other's um, OKRs, if I can put it like that. And then for us, like trying to advise to say for us to be able to reach all the objectives, this is what you're supposed to add so that at least you help us to beef up the foundation of, I mean, the objectives of FY25. Very excited. I think we have a really good team and everyone now knows the mandate. What is it that we need to do? And the energy here, you can see everyone just want to implement so that then we run and we are taking it to the team. My name is Sundu Gantapo. I am the technical services manager. So I'm responsible for eight um, departments at Kutala, which is geology, safety, environment, ventilation and occupational hygiene, um, business improvement, um, safety, geology, and survey, and then um, the open cast um, production. The reflection of the past year um, before we can set up the goals for, for the following year. I think for me, the reflection, and, and not only that, that when we reflect, um, I think the biggest takeaway was that the discipline thoughts. Um, you need to have discipline actions and you need to have discipline um, people, otherwise your strategy will fail. Sibu Siso Sibia, uh, the newly appointed mind manager. Start plan for Kutala, HOTs. I think one thing that I've seen, uh, we're a good team. Uh, we've been able like uh, to come up like with good ideas, you know, how to take Kutala forward and uh, I think if we were to able uh, to just stick to what we promised that we need to do, yeah, uh, we can take Kutala to the next level, uh, we can make Kutala unstoppable. I'm just saying that like uh, as a new person, you know, to say you're coming in but you already feel as if like you're part of the team. Uh, 
and uh, with all the commitments that we are making, we are hoping that the guys like uh, section managers or let me just say everybody, section managers, D levels, and uh, the operators at the operation will be able to buy into it. You know, if they can buy into it, uh, quattro, quattro, quattro means what? Four in Italian. That's what I've learned. <laughs> quattro. And I've only seen quattro uh, on the Audi, but yeah, motto is quattro, uh, being unstoppable, from good to great to being unstoppable. That's what we are pushing for. It's, it's, it's a joy to be able to find people who are prepared to learn and not only learn, apply what it is that they've learned. And when you come back to them, you find that the lexicon has shifted. And even in the conversations while we're doing the team building activities or team alignment activities, together with strategy alignment, uh, terminology that kept flowing was terminology of trust. We need to get out of the space of being the operator. We need to start to become the thinker and, and set the strategy and then align our people to execute the strategy. And I think the biggest key learning is even though I am at an HOD level, but is to think like an executive. Well, ga gauging from what what has happened, because we've been working with the team and Serity from about 2020, um, and it, right at the height of COVID. And what I've seen coming through is that with Raymond, when he was heading up the Creel team, he was able to gel them together into a high-performing team. That was what translated to him being promoted to become general manager at Kutale. And Kutale had their first million a year ago, and now they've had their second million this year. And not only is it something that is there at Itemele too, there is another one million tons that have come through and been recognized coming out of Itemele. So that indicates that it's not just a, a flesh in the pan. It's not just something that is going through the motions. It's something that is being lived. And the people who are touched by this are the operators. Imagine a situation you've had a million a year ago. You've had two millionaires in succession, one after the other, in the same week uh, coming through. And there's a third one coming up uh, very soon, which means the, the culture of high performance and top class performance is uh, taking root in the organization.